Okay. So this is part two. I know I've had a series of videos in this outfit, but this is not part of that series. This one's completely separate. But it is part of a series. So I've just done one, but it was kind of blooper in which my mum was in it. So I'm now going to do one without my mum in it. Just in case I can't show that one. So this is the outfit without as much like detailed stuff on. And I actually got to show off this outfit in Sainsbury's today because I, I took my jacket. Uh, oh, I just need to get rid of this. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, jacket and coat. I took them both off for the for you know to, because I wanted to show off the outfit in public, and I won't be able to do it. So, you know, I'll probably be able to do it soon when the weather warms up. But right now it's freezing, so. Yeah, sorry about wearing the tail. I think the tail looks good with it. But this is my robe alien outfit and also St. Patrick's outfit as well. But with this gold belt instead of the other belt. So this is just like a different version of the same outfit. I'm going to close this door because it'll probably keep the heating a bit better. So heat in a bit better. And without the crown. I think it kind of looks better without the crown, but... Makes my hair look weird, but let's do with the crown, shall we? All right, there we go, with the crown. This time I've done it a different way, which I actually think looks better. So you got some hair here. Oh, yeah, I think that looks better. My hair looks better like that. So hopefully I'll be able to do that next time I dress like this to go out or whatever to one of my events. So I did my blue lips with dark blue liner to line them, which you can't see. I'll show you in a minute. And this is like just a plainer version of the outfit without the tassel belt. Still got the jewels though. No tail and flat boots instead of the, the other ones. <laughs> Heeled ones. These ones keep drooping down though as I walk, which is kind of a pain in the ass. So it's supposed to be over the knee. And you can see, I don't know, because it's quite dark, but here you go. Alright, so now I'll show you the makeup. Okay, there we go. So that's what the makeup looks like. So not that you can see it, but my lips are light blue. Keeps going quite fady. But, so like I say, I pretty much went out like this, but without this belt. And the makeup was with green lips from my eyeshadow. But it was very light green, very, very pale green, which looked really nice. But I want to do a version where I do either pale green or darker green, like this colour green, with a darker, even darker green outline. So what I'm going to do is, when I go out, when I go to makeup shops, I'm going to try and see if I can find liners, whether they be lip or eye or whatever, like liquid ones, preferably, gel or liquid ones, whereby in different colours, so different lip or eyeliners in different colours. So I could do different coloured lips, outlines and eyelines. A dark green eyeliner would be really good. It'd be good if they did different colour eyeliner, but I don't believe that they do. Which is a darn shame. Oh, I know they probably do, but especially like shops. I know that in Affleck's Palettes is a shop. An, a gay shop, I think. So sort of like LGB. They sell LGBT merchandise and what have you, flags. And, and they do all this different coloured makeup, so you can do your face up. And I think they do... Like, I'm going to call them face pens, so you can draw colourful things on your face. So you don't have to bother with actual face paint, but it's proper, like, pens. I think they do. And I know that they definitely do different coloured lipstick, like greens and blues and all sorts of different colours. So I'm going to do that. I'm just using eyeshadows right now. And this is, what is this one? Colour crayon. Multitask. So this is multi-use. So it's basically for lips, eyes, 
or whatever. So I need to get more of these, but more like pin pointy ones, you know, like like tiny thin pointy pen things. So that I can do intricate details and drawings on my face. Because I want to do interesting things with my face pretty much. So yeah. So that's why I need to go to the shop again. I was going to go today. Unfortunately, I decided not to. So today is March 8th, I think. And I was going to go to Manchester today. Specifically to go to all, either costume shops or Affleck Palace so I can get stuff that I need. So I need more costume accessories. Or just costumes in general if I can get the ones I want. <sighs> and accessories to put together. Like for this particular outfit, my green look. I've actually ordered online at a cheap uh, steampunk Facebook shop. I have ordered it. A shiny green bolero jacket which will go with this outfit. It's a really lovely green and it's shiny so it's very alien like because so far I've only got a black bolero jacket. Two black ones actually and they both go with this outfit really well but it's nice to get the matching colours. Oh wait let me just do something. So if it was Christmas and I was wearing this outfit so I could do red and green I would put my red gloves on and as you know, I've got a red jackety thing and waistcoat. So I put the waistcoat with this and the tie. Maybe the skirt. So I could pretty much wear this outfit for Christmas and just add the red stuff to make it extra Christmassy. That would look nice, wouldn't it? Which I didn't really think to do for Christmas just gone, which is a shame. But I did wear a Christmassy outfit. I think I did wear I did wear this this and the jacket and the... You got, I got videos, you got videos, you've seen them. This is like a particularly different version. So I'd wear like the green tie, it's the green top, then the red waistcoat, the tie and maybe the skirt or I'd wear this. I need some green ones of these. I kind of like the contrast of green and black though. But yeah, if I could get maybe a dark green shorts to go with this. I did find some green boots at Manchester, but they were so expensive and they were too high, you'd break your ankle. You know, it was not only high heels, but the platform as well. So the front bit with the platform and then a stabbing great heel. But they would have been perfect to go with this outfit. But yeah, I kind of like the, the black contrast. So you got black, green, black, green, and then the bolero jacket would be black. So I kind of like that. And then you've got the blue as well. I can't find one of my Bolero jackets that would be perfect with this. Anyway, this is what I was going to wear to the party thing. But unfortunately, as it's a purple party, I have to wear purple. So I shall have to wear this next month. But unfortunately, it won't be Green Month. It won't be St. Patrick's Month anymore. So that's the only problem. But I am going to wear this anyway because it's too nice and to not bother with and be like, oh, well, I can't wear it until next March. 